Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lesson. Today we have solving two-step equations. Um, this is again in the algebra unit. Um, we're going to be doing an addition and uh, addition or subtraction and a multiplication and division to go ahead and solve for our variable this time. We are still just isolating, still just moving things across the equal sign. When it's uh, positive on one side, it's negative on the other when we're adding and subtracting. If it's multiplied on one side, it's divided on the other, and vice versa when we're multiplicating, uh, multiplication and, div and division is required. So let's go. Let's do some examples. Minus 8r plus 12 equals 108. To start, I want to get this part of the term on its side all by itself. So I'm going to move the positive 12 over. I'm going to subtract it, right? If it's positive on this side, I'm subtracting it from the other. So minus 8r equals 108 minus 12. So that means that minus 8r equals 96. I am then going to move the minus 8 to the other side, but it's multiplied by r this time. So when I move it across, I'm dividing it by minus 8. So r is equal to 96 divided by minus 8. And I believe that that is 12. So r, in this case, equals 12. Yes, it is definitely 12. Okay, so we moved the plus 12 over, we subtracted it from the other side, we divided the minus 8 onto the other side because it was multiplied. Let's do the next problem. We have 3 minus 9x equals 66. We want to get the minus 9x alone first, that part of the term, because that's where the x is. So we're going to uh, move the 3 over. It's positive on this side. So when we move it over, it's going to be negative, right? So we have then minus 9x equals 66 minus 3. That means that minus 9x is equal to 63, right? 66 minus 3 is 63. We are then going to move the minus 9 over to the other side. It goes on the bottom, right? It's on the top on this side. It's on the bottom on the other side. Divide both sides by minus 9 x is equal to minus 63 divided by minus 9. x is equal to 7. So may look daunting, but one step at a time. Usually we do the uh, reverse of bed mass in these cases. Not all the time, but often. All right. Let's do another one here. Minus 9 minus 5a equals minus 84. Okay, lots of minuses. We're looking for a. We want to get this part of the term all by itself. So we have a minus 9 here. If we move it across to the other side, it's going to be positive 9. So we have minus 5a minus, oh sorry, equals minus 84 plus 9. Minus 5a is equal to eight, minus 84 plus 9. That would go towards 0. So that's actually minus 75. It's very convenient. Divide both sides by minus 5. Right? It's on top on that side. It goes on the bottom on this side. So a is equal to, uh, let's see, 75 divided by 5 is 15. And they're both negative, so that's why it's positive. Let's do another one. Minus 2 plus k divided by 3 equals minus 8. We're going to get the term with the variable by itself first. So that's right here. We're going to move this over. It's subtracted on this side. We are going to add it to the other side. So we're left with k divided by 3 is equal to minus 8 plus 2. Minus 8 plus 2, that is minus 6. So k divided by 3 is equal to 6, minus 6, pardon. We have a 3 on the bottom, so if we're going to move it to the other side, it's going to go on to the top. 
k is equal to minus 6 times 3. k is equal to minus 18. One step at a time. We move the 2 over the opposite sign. We move the 3 up to the other side. It was divided, so we multiplied, and we found our final answer. We've got two more. We've got two more problems to do. Here we go. 10 plus n divided by minus 17 equals minus 2. This is one of those small exceptions to the rule. The entire thing is divided by minus 17. So we need to get rid of that minus 17 first. I can't really do anything with either of these here unless I want to work with fractions. And generally, you tell me you don't want to work with fractions. So we're going to take this bottom part and move it up to the top on the other side, right? It's on the bottom on one side. It goes to the top on the other side. So we have 10 plus n is equal to minus 2 times minus 17, which means that 10 plus n is equal to 34. Negative times a negative is a positive. We're going to subtract 10 from that side because it's added on one side, so we subtract it from the other. n is equal to 34 minus 10. n is equal to 24 easier than you thought. And one more. Minus 12 plus k divided by minus 2 equals minus 14. So in this one, we don't have a denominator across the entire problem. We just have it in one part. So we're going to go ahead and move this across the equal sign. So it's negative on one side, it becomes positive on the other side. That's k divided by 2 is equal to minus 14 plus 12. So k divided by 2 would be equal to minus 2, right? Minus 14 plus 12 is minus 2. Take the 2 on the bottom, we move it up to the top on the other side. k is equal to minus 2 times 2. k is equal to minus 4. If you guys have questions about this, please let me know. But practice, practice, practice. And thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in class.